It's roughly about noon today. I know I usually start my vlogs kind of early in the morning, but all morning I've been editing to try and get my wyvern video done. And I'm almost done, so later tonight I'm gonna end up finishing it up. But right now what I'm trying to get done is I'm trying to work on my patterns. And I've kind of gotten a little bit of progress done on them. Um, I'm trying to figure out a good way to write down instructions so that they're easy to understand. So I'm making sure to do that. But for some reason, whatever I'm using to draw them out, the lines are extremely like wiggly and they just look horrible. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out a way to get around that because I don't have a tablet or anything really to draw them out with professionally until I get more money. So basically I'm trying to do them with what little I have. So basically how I ended up getting my patterns here is I drew them out physically on paper. Don't have a scanner so I took photos of them. And then once I got them into the computer, I um, basically drew over them to make everything digital so it wouldn't look like um, pen marks and stuff like that. But whatever I'm using, the lines are extremely like jagged and just look horrible so I'm gonna try and go in and clean up these lines because it may look good from far back like where you guys are on camera but like right up close they they don't look good <laughs> and I also want them to look thinner so that they won't look so thick and bulky so when you guys print them off they don't take up a ton of ink but other than that, I'm trying to figure out different things to work on. So this vlog is a little different because I'm trying to basically come up with different things for my shop and online business so that I have some passive income going on while we're dealing with this uh, everyone being locked in their house situation. Avoiding certain words because I would like to get a little bit of money from YouTube for this video. <laughs> Don't make much, but I would like to at least get the sum that I do. But yeah, I've actually been needing to do this for quite a while because I know that my art dolls can be very pricey and a lot of the times when I get really into pieces, they're big pieces that I can't price cheaply. Um, I try to do every now and again really tiny ones that I can price under $100, but even that's quite expensive for most people. So I'm trying to look into different means of putting stuff out there for you guys to buy, and if you guys want to support me, that that's available as well. One thing that I've been wanting to kind of look into is how to do prints and stuff of my paintings, and while looking into this, I thought originally that I would just order prints and have them shipped to me and then mail them to you guys when you order them, but I found that this one website called Redbubble and basically if I put my digital files there I can select certain things that they'll print my photos and stuff on. So if there's anything that you guys recommend me putting my art on like I think you can do stickers, phone cases, clothes, um, just a bunch of different things and if there's anything that you think would be really interesting to do let me know because I get to pick which items my prints get to be printed on to because I'm starting to get quite a bit of paintings done. I've got all of these. I still need to varnish this one, but it might be easier to take photos because of that. But yeah, I've got all of those. Um, I've got one up there that I'm finishing. I've got a bunch of things up here in progress. And of course, I've got all of these up here over my desk. Um, the one of Axel's eye. My mermaid one is getting close to being done. I mainly have it hanging because I just have nowhere to put it, so it's just easier to have it here. What? You're supposed to be sleeping. Yeah. Okay guys, I think I got the lines as clean as I can. I'll zoom in and show you. But yeah, they're nice and straight, or at least as straight as I can get them. And if you guys are curious, I am using a website called PicMonkey. This is the same website that I use to make my thumbnails. And I couldn't get the drawing tool to really work. There's no drawing tool on here, but there's a drawing tool in my Photoshop, which is a very old version. And I just couldn't get it nice and neat. So I just used a bunch of these shapes and kind of like pasted them together to make the pattern. So the lines are all nice and smooth and stuff. But yeah, I got that and then I also did the legs for it. So this is the pattern that I used for the Giga. And I think we're pretty much done with it. I'm gonna start on a few more, but right now, I think 
I'm gonna make some tea. I bought this one tea quite a while ago. I thought I'd make good hot tea, but it really didn't. At least I didn't care for it. It's kind of like a chocolate tea, but it makes really good iced tea. So I'm gonna make a batch of it. I'm not gonna make a big batch, just like a decent sized serving. So if you guys are wondering, I'm doing pretty good with my lockdown. It's kind of like normal everyday stuff for me because I'm like working from home all the time. So it's not too difficult for me other than the fact that we are kind of slowly running out of stuff. And it's not really available in the stores. <laughs> but yeah, we are currently Keeping an eye out for when toilet paper becomes available, right now we are using tissue paper, which honestly it's kind of an upgrade. <laughs> Other than that, I've managed to be able to keep my coffee creamer and milk. Um, we only got a little bit and right now the stores are kind of limiting one per person for each of those items, so you can only get like one creamer, one milk, stuff like that. So I haven't ran out yet, but we haven't decided to go and get any more. Last time I did groceries, I actually had them deliver here, so I didn't have to go out in it because it was kind of roughly around the time when everyone was kind of locking down and freaking out and buying everything. So I really didn't want to go out in the stores, less people out and about if I stay home, and I just had them deliver the groceries. And of course, all this happens right when uh, we need to grocery shop, so like, we were actually pretty low on stuff, but isn't that like always when things happen? You're always low or you're not prepared for it. So I'm gonna add a bunch of sugar to this, but remember it's actually going in this giant pitcher, not just this tiny cup. But it's easier to just mix and make a tiny batch and then like have it concentrated and then put it in my container. Mm, that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna have to put that in the fridge and cool down before I put it in here or I could crack my mug. <laughs> Definitely making a mess. Oh. Okay, hold on. There. Almost. 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 Ha -ha. There we go. Okay, so this is working out so much better. I can't believe I didn't think about using this to begin with because it's just so much easier. Obviously, there's a ton of layers involved with it, but... Yeah, this is for the raptor. I've got the main body, the leg, the arm, and the tail. For the raptor pattern, I'm actually going to leave it to where if you want to put wings on it, you can. So I'm going to have the patterns for the feathers if you want to use felt, and then the shape of the arm. And then if you don't want to, I'm going to have another arm pattern that will go with it. So there's going to be options with the raptor one. So this one's going to be a little bit more advanced, obviously, because there's just a bunch more pieces to it. But yeah, that one, I finished this page. Um, I'm thinking with this one, the instructions are going to have to be on a separate page. So I got that, and then I'm starting on the neck, the other arm pattern, and then the wing layers. I think I'm going to get this page done, and then I'm going to take a break from the computer. It's kind of being a little slow, and I'm going to start working on maybe some clay pieces or something. I just need a break. I've been at the computer all day. And to be honest, my eyes are tired. I've had a few of you guys ask for more tutorials on the wire frames that are inside of my clay feet. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial soon on how to make clay feet involving designing the wire frames and stuff like that. So um, because I'm going to be making a pair of feet for that video, I'm going to make a clay head now. That way when those feet are done, I can turn it into a creature. So I think I'm going to do a red and black dragon. And I'm not going to do a very large one. But yeah guys, with things being a little crazy right now, if there are any in-depth tutorials like how I make my clay feet that you would like to see, uh, let me know because those would be a lot easier for me to put out right now and uh, not get so overwhelmed. But I'm trying to think um, of other tutorial type things that I could do because I've done making horns, making wings, different things like that, but I'm not sure what you guys are more interested in. So I just heard from my sister that 
they're probably going to be doing um, a shelter in place today where I'm living, so that's a thing. Which honestly, I'm not surprised that they are because people are not listening, people are not taking precautions at all. There's spring breakers everywhere. Um, there's kids everywhere because uh, school's not going right now, so any parents that don't work are stuck home with their kids and they're going crazy, so they're outside with them now. I honestly didn't know that we had kids at our apartment until like a few days ago. I mean, I know there's like a few, but I didn't know how many there were until like just recently because I guess kids don't play outside that often and now parents are like, you need to get outside. <laughs> <sighs> I just got a call that mom's going to send us toilet paper since uh, uh, we haven't been able to leave the apartments early enough to be able to get some and they have some so yay! <laughs> I'm actually kind of liking that shape. We might go for like a very short muzzle. But yeah, I hope all of you guys are staying safe, staying inside if you can. Um, Michael's job is considered an essential job so he's still working. But I do know that like if he needs to, some of it can be done from home because a lot of it is office type stuff. But yeah, my sister actually works at the hospital and she's dealing with a lot of what's going on right now. So uh, I'm really proud of her because she's just going, she's just doing so much right now. Oh, one thing that I've been really wanting to do is learn how to do a hinged jaw. I mean, I've done mouths that open, but they're kind of like... A little different they're connected by wires and stuff but to actually have a hinge um, I've seen plenty of people do it so I don't think it's too too hard but I'm very concerned that my clay won't be strong enough to be able to handle a hinge and I'd like to make sure that if I make pieces with a hinge jaw that they won't break so I've been actually wanting to look into getting monster clay because it's a reusable type clay and I could sculpt the pieces out of that and then um, turn the pieces into resin so I could mold them. Because I think pieces that are made out of resin would probably handle the joint better because it's going to be something that you're moving around and I don't want anything to break. Especially on the face. No one wants their art doll to have a broken face. I mean, if you chip or crack one of the claws, you can always kind of hide it the way you position it on a shelf, but you mess up the face, you mess up the whole thing. But yeah, that's definitely on my list of things to try out. The only thing is, right now, I'm not sure how to get the supplies. Because we're not supposed to go anywhere, and I'm not sure what the waiting on shipping would be for something like that. Because I've heard shipping stuff right now is actually getting delayed quite a bit. So that might have to be put on the back burner until everything kind of dies down. But yeah, I want to do that, and... Um, what else was it? I saw this one type of material. It's basically the same thing as Instamorph, but it comes in like sheets, kind of like paper sheets. And it's uh, moldable plastic, and it looked really interesting. I can't remember the name, but um, I've been wanting to get that and try that out too. It's used for cosplay quite a bit. I'm not sure what type of stones these are, but I found them in my art supplies, and they are pretty red, so I think they'll work well with this little guy. I think they'll look cute, probably on the cheeks. Yeah, something like that. I didn't have a lot of small ones though. I got one more. I might have more in my thing, but I don't know if I want to use it. I think I like the flat head. That's not too bad. That's actually really good for a small head. Normally I don't get that much detail in there. It's cute. He's going to be more of a drake, I think. He's got a drake type head. Okay, I'm going to get him in the oven. Okay, so I got the clay head in the oven. That's baking. I probably should get back to making more patterns. I'm tired of being at the computer, but I really want to get it done for you guys. 
Um, if you guys have any other suggestions on what patterns you would like, because right now the ones I'm working on are, I've got the kind of Rex slash Giga thing, um, a Raptor one, um, what was it? I want to do a dragon, but I haven't decided which dragon pattern to do, and then one of you guys said that you really wanted the Owlbear pattern, so I'm going to put that out as well. So any other suggestions, let me know. Maybe I'll do a few different types of dragon uh, patterns. But for now, I'm going to get working on that, maybe make something to eat because I'm starving. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time.